Hello everyone, Hello. welcome back to Humankind. We are in turn 45, we are 3600 before Christ and well, quite early still. Um, and we're making some nice progress, I think. So we are ransacking two camps right now, where we, well, get some money out of it. This one here is really promising, 360 coin in five turns. Well, I hope there's no one else attacking. I'm saving a bit of influence to build more outposts, of course. Here we are now with another one that we could build. And this is a cool sector, right? First of all, it's border to the ocean primarily we have um, the sage here some horses once again that we need um, so I think we can go for that right let's have it and we can once again decide where we want that do we want to go with full food or do we want to also go a bit more into production when we build it in the mountains this is interesting so or this is important to know so we need to check out what we have already we already have lots of production right we have two outposts there close to the mountains so I think at some point point food might become a problem let's focus this one a bit more on food right so it's going to be here with the 14 food and the five industry and boom there we have it a new territory comes up the sage is already in the empire then right away because it's in the surrounding of that city and my troops can continue then to this interesting point and what i like about the interesting points is they appear again and again right so it's always worth it to watch out for your territory and well have a look where what happens And beautiful soundtrack once again the music gets a bit more sophisticated over the years we have that one um, and I think that's the end of it no there's something else coming up and Shu are the religious leaders of the shamanism we have 16 of 16 followers so we can now decide uh, what focus our well our religion wants to have for example on well wealth on harmony that is science bonus on stability or on influence right oh oh yeah also industry on holy sites i think i think i think science might be a good bonus here we have lots of industry or do we want to have more industry let's have more industry you can never have enough of that 10 industry on holy sites and plus maximum number of holy sites let's build this one and there is another interesting mechanic coming into play here now with the holy sites. I haven't built it yet, but there we have it, right? It belongs to us. I think no one else can take it from us. It's a holy site and we should build this one. Gives me stability and faith. And with that new focus, it also gives me industry. Poor holy site. We can completely freely choose where we want to have it. I think up here on one of these mountains is pretty cool. So let's do this, that we can have it. And the cool thing is now, the surrounding territory, like this one, they could share their workforce, or if it were a city, to work on that as well, to speed it up even further. But I think my city is fine on that. By the way, attaching this one, 100 influence. That's too much for now. That would be our holy site then up there that we can develop with that. Oops. And a carcass, 10 coin. Thank you for that. We continue with the, the scouting then into this area. And where is my army actually? I built an army. Oh, it's this one anyway. <laughs> it's the regiment. So they're ready for some conquering. There is a barbarian camp that we could take. Perhaps. Fate of the free cities. The world as it ever was is divided into the rulers and the ruled. Great sprawling empires and proud independent cities. Your struggle is with other empires, but you should not forget the part these free cities play. And we do get a new civic that we have unlocked. Ah, yep. And we have also unlocked a new civic point. And last episode, we were unlocking this army composition. And this one is pretty cool. So either we go with faster armies or we go with stronger armies. Plus one combat strength on units. I like this one more, to be honest, because this one we can always boost with more industrial sectors. This is rather pretty permanent. And let's go for the combat strength in that case. So my armies are now a bit stronger. This should make it easier to also finish those ransacking missions that we have there at the moment. I think we are the warmongering civilization right now. We continue. Over here, what do we find? A new sector. That Can we do this one right away? No. Nope. We don't have this yet because there's still the barbarians. We would have to destroy them first, obviously. The growing... Faithful, the Empire's religion grows more and more followers coming into the faith. Some practice their beliefs through ceremonies led by priests while others guide their own worship. We have a new civic. Alright, I'm not looking up these civics now every time they appear. Rather, once I have a civic point. 
Oh, very good. That's the end of it. So we have this northern border here for us. We can continue in here. And this one here I might make into a city. A city and an outpost then to it. Right? So we have then two major cities. And up here I would like to go with... Actually, we might make this one here a city. I could afford it now. And this one an outpost for the city. To be honest, this sounds pretty good to me. Because attaching costs way more. 100 influence it would cost me. There we have that. Oh! Is there a battle? There is a battle. There is an attacking army and we are weaker. So we should retreat. There is no ransacking happening this day. I'm surprised it happened so late. Lucky us, we do have an army close by. And we have research bronze working. So bronze has been unlocked now on the world map for us. And the forge plus the spearman, a new military unit. And this outpost here has gained a new pop. So it has now one of four pops. Um, turning it into a city, we will still want to wait for um, the population limit to reach. What we can do in the meantime is we could claim more horses or another ours and quarters for the, I think the sage that we have there. Yep, horses or sage. Um, we already have horses, so let's go with the sage because this gives me a bit more stability. Of course, I'm going with both anyway at some point then for Gomeza, as this one is called. Oh, and we are already at the holy site construction. It's really fast. Oh, very good. I could also claim a new territory. Or we scout. Let's scout ahead. There's something to find. Have we ran ransacked it? We have. Yep, ransack successful. 300. That's a lot of coin we got there. 362. And this territory is free again. So we can do something on it. And I would like to do something on it. Let's just see. There's lots of industry here. 14 that we would have. And some forests in the surrounding area. So let's build it where we have a good balance between food and industry. What a beautiful terrain this one is, right? And we conquered it. It belongs to us now. And thus we also have the Lake Baikal, or Baikal now under our control. Gives me another plus two industry and vision range. Very good. Plus five influence. Holy moly, our influence is good at this point. Plus 30 per turn. Loving that. And we have finished another research. Doesn't say that really. The bronze. Oh yeah, sorry. That was my mistake. The bronze we have. Fishing and irrigation gives me the public fountain and another stability bonus. The writing gives me a new lore, the market quarters, the food market, the wheel, hmm. and roads. Creates roads in the cities and also this very powerful horse towered vehicle. With that, we could steamroll. Let's go irrigation first and then we go for the, the wheel. Until then, I will have boosted it further. So I feel confident. Let's continue. There's something we can claim. And I think another empire. Era star unlocked. We have found the gold. And with that, we have now three out of seven. Where did we get it? The research. Ah, population we have. And reach total of 600 influence. This one's available now, this unit. What should we do with it? That's the question. We could station it over there. Close to the city. If there's retaliation coming at some point, it might be worth it. We could chop down something. I mean, gosh, this is looking beautiful. Let's go. chop down something. Oh, and there's also some enemies. We just, we just say they're enemies. A schism in the heart. Followers of the Empire's religion continue to grow, but within the temples and holy places, tension brew. A new civic? We could decide how religious tolerant we are. Not right now, though. And we found animal remains. Three science points. Thank you very much. And we unlock new terrain that we can see on the map. With my army, 
I'm going now down here to the barbarians and then further to that camp here. Ah, uh, loading times are increasing a bit here now. And there we have it. We have finished our first holy place. Very good. This gives me now lots of bonuses. Look at that. 10 industry, 22 stability, 20 faith, and 10 influence on top of that. Really cool looking. Our holy place that we have. And I think we continue right away, right? Yep, the artisan quarter is the next one. Then we have the pottery workshop and then the next archer. And I might... Oh, the copper mine is available now too because we have researched it. And we have to, we do have some copper in this area too. I might just go for that. This gives me signs and of course... Yep, two signs for the copper mine. Let's build the copper mine. It's at Asa, at this one, at this outpost. This one is still not attached. What do we do here? That's the big question. A city? Let's make this one a city, definitely. Right? That becomes the city here. City creation. Ten turns. Takes a bit of time now. This one here definitely becomes no city. So either we attach it to Haojing, the capital, or we attach it to this northern city that we have now. Which is called Mimosa. No idea yet. We'll find out. For the capital, you know, we can still grow in other ways anyway. We continue. Oh, what's happening here? What is that? This is pretty strong. Look at that. They have four military units on horses already. These are barbarians, but they are peaceful. I think it's it's the same for those guys here. Hmm. They are pretty strong, from what I can tell. And there is another battle. There is some more barbarians attacking me, so they really pop up now everywhere. Let's finish this one. We have won it. And we do get 10 coin out of it, at least. And we lost the unit. More barbarians. Oh my goodness. That's dangerous terrain over there. Not that much I can do. I hope that we can still crush those barbarians here so I can get this terrain there. And then we only have the Nubians to the south. But that's it then. And the first barbarians march into my territory. They are violent, mercenaries, and they have 38 strength. We could rent them though for 100 coin. They will be rented for 20 turns. Doesn't sound so bad. Let's do this one. They belong to us now for 20 turns. And we should use that by destroying their own camp. <laughs> and also go for the Nubians over there. Since we have the money, it should be fine. There's also a lair. This is an animal lair. We could ransack this one for 22 coin. Charge! Let's try this one, even though there is an army coming. And land of the dead. For hundreds of years, the dead of Hao Jing, our capital, have been laid to rest in burial sites within or close to the city's borders. Now, however, with a fast rising population and many dying every moon, these sites are becoming overcrowded. Future burials could lead to disease as corpses await processing. Do we want to bury them? Or do we want to cremate them? Let's cremate them. Gives me a good bonus. Oh, yeah. We don't need that much money. I could put another one into science and I'm doing that. To finish, uh, to speed up my researches there. Oh, I like this one. Artisan quarters. Afterwards, I would go for the city creation. Another era star that we have gained. By doing what exactly? The builder star. Thank you very much. The builder star we have now. That's this one here. Have six districts. Get us the first star. So we are now four stars out of seven that we need for this era. And another specialization. Reject luxury. Mm, bear, not false. Yep, let's go for the plus science that we get. So we have now industry and science bonus on this um, religious site there. This is new to me. I don't think we have had that in the last playthrough. Going into my religion. They are stronger than us, even though we have the army here. Nah. Difficult one. They will attack if I try to ransack. Let's wait here for now. 
The Ransack here is completed. 22 coin. Thank you. And we might continue upwards again. There's a bear. It's getting a bit more dangerous out here. There are the Haititis, right? It's those guys here. They are hesitant towards us. But not hostile yet. Then there's still the question about that outpost. I think I will attach it to the city once we create it. And with my mercenaries, I'm marching now towards those guys here. You cannot patronize them. It's a defending army, alright. Another star, the agrarian star we have unlocked. Because we have 20 population now, so only one more star and we could advance to the next era. Irrigation, we have also researched now. Ah, it belongs together, right? Because irrigation got us the food bonus. And with that, we have a new pop. Let's go for the wheel. It only takes us three turns now. Alright, there is a battle. Can I? They're attacking us, right? Over this way. Keeping an eye. There is a battle that I have to do. Unfortunately, I cannot put them here as reinforcement, right? In battle, reinforcements. Let's confirm the battle and let's do it actually ourselves. We can still now um, deploy. So I would like to have my archers here and my horses there. They're at the... What is happening? Why can they attack? Yes, of course, they did some damage there. Now with my archers... We might just destroy these archers there completely first. All together. And then with my horses. Oh, that did quite a good damage. Very good. They act as a tank here, I think. Okay, they're both attacking my different armies there. That's their doom, of course. Yep, with them I can totally crush them. I think I should have taken the horses there, but it's fine. And... Okay, I cannot attack them. I should be able to attack them. Yep. And that should be the end of them. Very good. Thus, we have won the war. I hope I, I do getting, I, I get some good rewards out of it. Nothing. <laughs> Alright, perhaps some experience points. No idea. We can ransack now this one here though, I think. Oh, okay, it's a siege. This is something different. There are now levies in there that we have to lay siege to. Mm, maintain the siege, right? So we weaken them. That's it. Nothing else we can do here. And another era star. Oh my goodness, they're flooding in now. We have earned enough money, 600 it was for the star. And we now have all the seven stars that we need. Right, with that we can now advance to the next era. And we can now enter a new era. And with that, we can once again specialize our armies or our, well, civilization. Since we have taken the shoe, we could transcend. That means um, we become even better with them. Or we go or go into a upper, well, tech for them or culture for them. And since there's nothing really like the Romans, for example, doesn't make sense to go Romans now. Um, I would like to go or I would like to continue with the shoe, right? So we, uh, we, we transcend with them. I don't like this so much, so this should be a bit more restrictive, to be honest, right? If I go Chinese first or the Shu, I should not be able to go Romans right after this. This is a pretty big turn in what my culture turns out to be. Transcending gives me some more stability, some more science, and... No, they already have. Let's confirm. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggled to control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble their stability.
<laughs> right? So a nice little view over my empire. And we can also claim now a new wonder. Oh, we can build it actually. You know, right? So I think we can also take our time with it then once we... Oh no! Okay, someone claims this one, the Statue of Zeus, for example. I can't do that anymore. So I could go for something else. Something with um, industry and science that would be amazing. The temple, Stonehenge, gives me stability above all. The hanging gardens, some fame. This one gives me plus 1% science per district, the mausoleum. And the lighthouse. Nothing for industry. Alright, so no... Not a single one of them actually goes... Oh, there it is. District industry cost minus 25% with the pyramids. Nah. Let's make the hanging guard. Let's make the mausoleum. Gives me the science bonus that I like so much. We can claim it for 250 influence. What? Nah. I'm pretty set up on the mausoleum because of the science bonus. And the awe-inspiring tomb of a dead governor gives dreams of eminence for all who set eyes upon. Here I would wish for a bit more specialization once again for my culture. There's not a single one that I would actually think are, is Chinese. So let's still claim the mausoleum. Claim this once. Uh, we can't undo this anymore, right? It's 250 influence. But it belongs to us now. No one else can do that. And we can take our time with building it um, for now. So that's that. Um, then we have still our little unit, unit here that is damaged. To heal them, we need to be in our own territory. Unfortunately, it's not nowhere near close. And we still have the siege going on, but that still takes a bit of time, right? I'm not doing anything here. And the wheel. With that, we have unlocked our special military unit. And we should also be seeing now some roads appearing, because that tag has been researched. And there they are, roads now in the Empire. With that, the cities are closer to connected, and I can move my units faster around. Very nice. And from here we continue then. Stay tuned.